Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato. This is what if Naruto had the ability of the Salt King slash the King of Salt. So, if you don't know what happened last time, let me, let me do a recap. Naruto managed to bring Sasuke back into the village. Uh, which, since Naruto had to hurt him, to actually bring him back. Um, he was banished from by the council and Donzo and the others. Donzo sent Root almost at him. Naruto killed the Root almost really easily using his Salt King ability that he actually used by blowing into the trumpet. He is now 18, so f like 6 years he trained with Kurama and his Salt King abilities. So, of course, he also has KCM and has mixed both KCM with Salt King mode. So it's like... Uh, salty fox mode. I don't know. I forgot what I call him, but uh, it's like it's combined both together, and it's basically just a white mode instead of being this golden color. His eyes are still golden, they still have the black around his eyes, and but his like mode instead of being gold, it's white, and his wings are black. I I will mention last one. But yeah, um, so since Naruto has all that, he also killed multiple root Ombus. He's also fell out, fell off the whole grid and all that. So no one can ever find him and all that. The only person that managed to find him was uh, Black Sess and White Sess. But Naruto went into his salt mode and killed it easily by turning into salt. So yeah. So, now, Naruto is out of, like, his cave base or whatever. And he is deciding to go finally take his revenge on humanity. So, Kurama, since this is, I think, did I say it was a half or a full? I think I said it was a half. So, since this is the Yang Kurama, this Yang Kurama actually does agree with Naruto about, like, killing humanity. How both of them got, uh, what's it called, ostracized by either the whole power and stature or whatever so they are going to go kill humanity Naruto is especially happy to go kill humanity in the leaf village so let's begin so Naruto he is right now just getting out of his cave and walking out. The Akasis are fully now just going to go hunt the Jajurgis and all that. They finally catch uh, what's called the One Tail, so uh, Gara. Of course, the Leaf Village had to send people there. Instead of being Naruto to be sent to go get Gara, it was Sasuke, since Sasuke didn't leave. And since Naruto is, I think I, yeah, Sasuke didn't leave. Naruto, instead of going to the sand, he is going to the stone. He just decides to go to the stone. So, of course, he's just walking over there. And, um, so Kakuzu went to go get the two tails. Uh, I think it was both Kisame? No, wait. So, um, yeah, so Naruto's going to the stone, it took me, uh, it took him a while to get to the stone, and when he got there, he just saw all the people just relaxing, talking, all that, there were some ninjas around the whole border and all that, but Naruto just killed him easily, he now went into the leaf village, and of course his chakra isn't that much, because he had Managed to do seals because Karama actually told him about how to do seals and all that to his body, so it wouldn't be, uh, be like a um, to calm, like easily found out about his chakra point and all that since he has large mounts and easily can be found out. So Naruto is walking in there, people burning with sense of chakra, burning ninjas. So Naruto he sees this place. It's lively and all that, blah, blah, blah. He hates it. 
He says, all these people think they are so better than anyone, right? Like, see if they can survive this. So, Naruto already went into his Saw King mode. Since it doesn't use any chakra, no one still senses him a lot. But Naruto says, Salt Wave. Oh, uh, wait, no, not Salt. Uh, Salty Wave. No, wait. Salty Ocean. So basically, an ocean, well, a sea of wave, like a wave of an ocean of salt, had just splashed in the middle and started hitting every building and everything around the middle. Everything around the middle killed so many civilians, they turned into salt, and all the buildings also turned into salt. Ninjas around there also turned into salt, and, um... A bunch of ninjas were confused, saying this must be an attack from where, wherever. They're probably thinking the miss, but they're confused. So, but they're also confused with the fact that it's salt and not like some kind of water, fire, or whatever, earth, maybe a new kankai. So they're thinking the miss are attacking them for no reason. So Sushi Kaigo was like, damn. Okay, it must have been one person that came here to attack. Naruto noticed the Sushikage Oniki. And what Naruto did, he threw a, what's it called, a spirit made of salt at Oniki. Oniki could not dodge it because he didn't see even, even if it was coming. There was no chakra on it, so there's no way for him to sense it. But he also could not see it because it went so fast. So it hit him like right on the shoulder and everyone was confused. Oniki was like, what the? Like his shoulder has a salt spear on there. Uh, Kur Kurtsuki? Kurtsuki? She was confused. She was like, Fa grandfather, what is happening? And Oniki's like, I have no clue, but salt is like going around his like body and all that. And it's easily taken over because he's old. And he fully turned into salt and fall down and crash. Everyone is shocked. Naruto comes out of yeah. Naruto comes out of the rubble and just says, <laughs> uh, "I'm gonna kill humanity. None of you humans shall survive my wrath." And Kurosuke runs at Naruto, trying to kill him because she's blind with rage and she needs to kill someone who actually did it. And so she tried to hit Naruto. Naruto. Pull out a sword. It was a uh, yeah, it was a uh, salt sword that he used on some ambus, the uh, spiky edge one, and he just slashed at, at Kurosuke. Kurosuke was like, "What the?" She managed to dodge, but she still has a slice, and her body just started turning to salt. So of course she didn't know what the hell was just happening. Naruto snapped his fingers. The salt went so quick, so it can change the. The power of the salt. The control of how to turn someone to salt really fast or really slow. So Naruto just turned out really fast. And Kurosuke turned into salt real fast. And Naruto just said time for another wave of salt. And so he does it again. A bunch of ninjas tried to escape his power. But could not really escape it. So everyone in the village... Some of the siblings managed to escape and all that. But not for that long. Since the whole village turned into salt. Like the whole village. And some people that managed to escape was just running away. But Naruto was like. <laughs> you dare run away humanity? This is your fault. Now take it like a man. And started killing multiple people. Kids. Ninjas. He didn't care. They were all just humans to him. So he just murdered them all. So, there's no more, uh, what's it called, stone village. And Naruto is like, alright, I have to go kill the daimyo. So that's what Naruto does. He goes to the stone daimyo. And, um, when he gets to the stone daimyo, there were some stone ninjas, like, trying to protect him. Naruto easily kills him and gets into the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, palace. The stone dummy was like, who are you? And Naruto just decapitated his head off. 
Naruto just didn't care. He was like, <laughs> well, this place looks nice. He likes a palace. So instead of like being a normal palace, like leave it alone and all that, he turned into full salt. So everything just fully turned into salt around the palace. So Naruto says this would be my new base. And you're just thinking, where should I else attack? Also, I should mention that the fortress and five tails was not in the stone village. So they are safe from Naruto's wrath. Naruto's thinking, so who should I else attack? Um, so who they else, well, not who, they else attack. Naruto thinks to go attack the lightning village. So... Basically, the cloud village. So, Naruto is just, like, walking around. And he's just, like, now going to the cloud village. So, of course, people, uh, what's it called? The leaf village still managed to grab Gara away from the, uh, Katsis. But instead of that whole day that up versus, uh, Sasuke, it still happens, but just, like... Sasuke's skills are much better, and Archimaru has to switch bodies again since he didn't get Sasuke. So, Naruto is walking towards the Cloud Village, but the problem he noticed is Archimaru. He's like talking to some people, and Naruto says, Archimaru, this is my perfect chance to actually kill him and get him out of the way. So that's what Naruto does. He goes into a KCM with Salt Mode. And rushes at uh, Archimaru with blinding speed. What Archimaru was talking to was talking to some uh, scientists. For like his experiments and all that. And Naruto just said hello there Archimaru. And uh, Archimaru tries to turn around but Naruto grabbed his hand. And then kicks him into a tree. And um, Archimaru was like. And some of the uh, what's it called. The two scientists tried to run away but Naruto already just cut their head off. With a salt spear. He was like, this is going to be easy, Archimaru. Archimaru's hands start turning to salt slowly. But he didn't notice that to actually hurt him that much. He can do a, like, the salt, uh, turning people into salt can either hurt really bad or can silently kill someone. So Naruto just picked a silent kill someone. And Archimaru was like, so... Naruto, I see. You're that bastard kid that stopped me from having Sasuke's body. Maybe I can take your body over. But then he noticed the white glow around Naruto and the golden eyes that Naruto has. Also the black, um, black eyes around his eyes. And Naruto just says, So, Achimaru, let's have some fun. Orochimaru tries to attack Naruto by just going to Taijutsu, but he notices his right hand. Yes, this is where Naruto touches his right hand to put it into a salt a virus inside it. You know what? I'm just going to call it salt virus because legit turning people into salt slowly, painfully, or just stealthily, whatever, or fast. It's basically a virus turning people into salt. So, yeah. He just causes a salt virus or the saltication since it's similar to uh, what's called um, Shigaraki's decay but instead of decaying people to nothing it's turning people into salt so yeah on the, there's not many uh, mentions about the abilities of uh, what's it called the salt king and the server of the end so that's why I'm making up abilities So, Naruto says, what's wrong, Archimaru? You can't feel your right hand. Also, I should mention that uh, Archimaru's right hand is fully turned into salt. Like, his, all the way the salt virus is at, like, his neck. And it's still increasing. There's just these lines that are kind of white. Going all around uh, Archimaru's right hand. Going all the way, like, to his neck. The longest one is like right to his eye. Slowly turning his eye kind of salty. And Archimaru cannot really escape this body since 
he's fully turned into salt. And Orochimaru tomorrow was like, what the fuck has happened to me? You little shit! Die! Tries to use the uh, Kuzunaki blade, but Naruto, he uses his salt blade. He like turns away the salt spear into a blade and blocked it. And Orochimaru was shocked because nothing can block the blade. But the sword was also turned into salt. Well, he was shocked. He's like, what the fuck is happening? You little shit. His, like, half of his face is now, like, salt. So he's barely able to talk. Also, I should mention that his chest and half, like, his leg is also salt. So he can't really do much anything. And Archimaru just tries to attack Naruto with the sword again. But Naruto just snaps his fingers. The salt increases. So everything in his body turns to salt. So Archimaru just falls down and crashes. Like, his salt body just also breaks. So, Naruto is just like, well, that's one less problem. Walks away. Turns off his KCM with his salt mode. So, now he's going to, uh, what's it called? Going towards the, uh, lightning, so yeah, the cloud village. So, when Naruto gets there... You're going to have to find out until next part. Sorry, this is kind of short for you, but I'm also going to do uh, what if uh, Naruto was the reincarnation in Deadpool uh, today. So that's why it kind of made short for this one. So yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, and potato sleep.